Good morning everyone from Damascus, Syria. I am back here for just a few days to reset before heading onwards to Palmyra. A few days ago, I received an invitation to go to a Syrian house for a home-cooked lunch, and I am thrilled because Syrian cuisine is one of the best in the world. So right now, I am on my way. I have no idea what to expect, but I know that it's gonna be delicious. So here we go on this amazing journey into a Syrian house. We have just driven for about an hour to the outskirts of the city and I'm with my friend Gaida, who you might remember I was with her in Damascus last week. So Gaida, where are we right now? We're in a suburb called Stade and we're gonna meet a friend. Awesome, and where is the friend's house? I think it's over there. Up here? Okay, yeah. here we go. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Hello. Drew. Yeah, welcome. Nice to meet you, man. Hello, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? This family is so sweet and made me feel right at home. We chatted for a while and they told me they're going to make kibbe, one of the best Syrian dishes that I've yet to try. Fadi invited me to go with him to the market to get the ingredients, and of course, my answer was yes. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And now we are in the Midan area. It's very famous about food. We are uh, taking some stuff to make uh, the food in the house. Amazing, yalla. Thank you. I just followed along as we went from shop to shop, getting all kinds of meats and delicious foods. I have no further words to explain how amazing this food looks, so cue the music and just watch. When I want to bring meat to my, my house, I bring it from here. But why this one? There's so many meat shops. Uh, this one I trust him very much. And he sells a lot of meat, so he has always fresh meat. Amazing. Fadi is taking me to a vegetable market that's under the freeway here. And we're just surrounded by all kinds of vegetables. It just looks amazing. Oh my god, so fresh, so good. Biggest pomegranate I've ever seen, this one. Yeah, we're getting some vegetables from uh, Midan Bridge. No, we have the best food in Syria. And if it's good for you, it's okay. 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 <laughs> That's all fruits and vegetables that we got. So much. Yalla. We brought everything back to the house and it was time to get cooking. In the kitchen, the women are preparing different kinds of kibbe, which I quickly learned is like a meat pie in the shape of little balls or patties. Step number one is making the dough from grinding meat mixed with onions and spices. They use this meat dough as an outside layer to add more meat inside. If that doesn't make sense to you, keep watching until the end and it will. She said she likes to cook and she's known that all her meals are very, very delicious. Sorry that I purposely didn't eat breakfast because I'm so excited to eat the meal. What you say? Uh, you will uh, now try the best food ever. Outside on the patio, Fadi is making kibbe his own way. We are preparing the fire now to grill uh, some kibbe. Kibbe is kind of crushed wheat, lamb meat and uh, also beef meat mixed together to make very nice food from uh, typical in Syria. It smells so good over here. And this grill, it's just like such a unique treat here. It's like meat covered in meat with spices, a true Syrian delicacy. And I cannot wait to eat it. As the different kinds of kibbe are being prepared, like this one with 100% raw meat and this huge baked pie, so are the many other amazing Syrian dishes which I cannot wait to try. We're just preparing for the salad. Peppers, cucumber, and tomatoes. And finally, everything was placed nicely on the table and we were ready to eat. Tabbouleh is on the way. This one, raw uh, kibbe. And this one, it's like a uh, little boiled with water. This is a grill. And we have wine and arak. Arak, what's arak? Arak is a Syrian drink. It's made from grapes. Uh, the volume of it is a little heavy. Gonna try the kibbe now. Oh God. I just cannot even comprehend or explain to you how good this is. It's like the best meatball you've ever had. With walnuts inside, onions. Gaida, how do you feel right now? Well, I'm hungry, first of all. <laughs> so I'm excited. I don't know which one to eat first. So much good stuff on the plate. I can die happy now. <laughs> the 
This is like the oven baked artistic looking kibbe. <laughs> yogurt and hummus on it. So good. Thank you. Amazing. I'm so happy. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I am so full that I can hardly breathe, but that was just an incredible experience. Everyone's so friendly, I loved it. We just spent like five hours at this house and I'm feeling the Iraq is pretty strong actually. So I'm gonna turn off my camera now. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you have now seen and experienced Syrian food and hospitality. It is just one of the best out there in the world. All right guys, see you later. So I've been in Syria almost two weeks and every time I go somewhere they offer me tea and coffee. Is this normal everywhere? Yes, uh, especially in Syria we have in all the uh, like uh, cities, uh, countryside, you can find many people very kind. They offer you some tea, coffee or sometimes some food. Yeah, even if they're really poor, it doesn't matter. They will give you... No, no, they, they don't uh, like ask for any money for that. And they uh, just give you for free to help you because you are a traveler and they, they just serve you food and some tea or coffee. Amazing. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.